Today we have a really cool announcement for something, well I guess it's an announcement for myself, it's not really for you guys, but I am now getting into Ethereum mining, which is really cool because this is something I've wanted to do for a little while now, and actually I've heard about this for years, but everything I read was like, oh it's, it's not profitable, like it's too late, and it's just so easy to buy into that stuff without actually trying it yourself, and Turns out, I think this is going to be very profitable for me. But there's obviously some concerns around this with the death of Ethereum mining coming up at some point when it switches to proof of stake, and what are the possible alternatives? So this video is going to take a look at everything going on, and this is going to be a beginner introduction, just talking video, but I do plan on doing a video dedicated to showing these rigs, how it's set up, and how to actually start earning money with Ethereum mining. So I'm not going to waste any more time, let's just jump into it and show some of the potential earnings that I'm going to be seeing with my my Ethereum mining rigs. And here we are in my earnings screen. And you can see my estimated earnings per day right now is $87. And this may actually go up because I currently only have about 20 GPUs running. And we're actually looking on having a total of 24 GPUs. So at the current state of everything, I'm looking at around $100 per day paid in Ethereum. And that doesn't include the cost of running these things with cooling and electricity but we're just looking at pure income right now, and then we'll do a little bit more analysis on actual profit. But the thing you have to realize is that this is a very uh, variable thing because of a few different reasons. One, the value of Ethereum changes regularly, and then two, the difficulty of Ethereum changes regularly. So if you have a constant hash rate, the return goes up and down, both in changes in the total number of Ethereum you earn and how much that Ethereum is actually worth. So the only thing you can really control here is your hash rate. So each graphics card you have has a certain hash rate. You add up those hash rates and that is how much you're contributing to the Ethereum network. What that actually earns you in Ethereum depends on how many other people are mining Ethereum at that moment in time. And this is known as the network difficulty or the hash rate of the network. As more people start to mine Ethereum, the difficulty goes up and your Ethereum earnings go down. It also depends on the gas prices and what's going on in the Ethereum network. So overall, it's hard to just look at one day and say, oh, this is what I'm gonna be earning for the next month or two. But once you have some data, you can start to average out and see what you're gonna be earning each day. So, I mean, just yesterday, this was over 100, it was like 120. And the total hash rate for my setup is 1.1 gigahertz. And the way this is set up is we're using 3060 Ti cards, each one providing around 60 mega hashes. So 60 times 20 is around 1.2 gigahertz. And ultimately, if we get all of these running constantly, we'll be close to 1.5 gigahertz, but not quite. I am looking at possibly getting another six 3060 Ti's, but we'll just have to see. So again, I'm going to do a dedicated video on these setups, but basically I'm going to have most likely six cards per board, and then I'm just going to have four or five of these boards. So that setup will keep it pretty simple where I don't necessarily need a dedicated shed or room for this. I can just put a rig here and there throughout my house on different circuits and cool them just with the air conditioning in my house. So I actually managed to get a pretty decent deal on these cards. I mean, I didn't pay MSRP, obviously, but I didn't quite pay the prices you're gonna find on eBay or Amazon. And also, I wasn't really willing to do the new egg shuffle or shopping around all day long to find cards closer at MSRP because that would take forever to find 24 cards. So I ended up just buying all of these at once and ended up paying a little more than double MSRP which MSRP is $400 for a 3060 Ti. So we're looking around 800 plus some shipping and stuff. So 850, 900 per card and the rigs. So I'll go into the details of all that hardware when I have it set up because I actually have a very interesting system right now. So the person I purchased these from, well, me purchasing them from them actually helps them for their particular business. And they had graphics cards already. So they set up these graphics cards that I've been showing locally. So they are running these graphics cards. So this is a hosted Ethereum mining setup right now, but they are shipping me the 24 graphics cards and then I will set them up locally and they will turn these ones off. So, I mean, it was really awesome for them to be willing to do that because they didn't need to do that, right? 
they already gave me a really good deal, I think, on the graphics cards. I don't know, I'm kind of new to this, so maybe maybe it's a bad deal. But I think overall, from my research, it's a pretty decent deal and should be able to return before we have any big concerns about loss of revenue from changes in Ethereum. So now let's talk about the profitability of something like this and why I decided to ultimately make that decision. Now, I'm not using NiceHash, but they have such a simple calculator to get the actual dollar value you might expect from a particular card. So you can enter your hardware manually and type in something like a 3060 Ti. And you can put in your electricity costs there to get an estimated return of 468 USD per day. And this fluctuates greatly up and down over time. So just watch it over a couple of days and you can get a better estimate. So then all you do, you basically take the cost of the card, divide that by the earnings per day, and that's going to tell you how long it takes to pay back the cost of the card without making any profit beyond owning the graphics card. So let's say the card is $900, you're earning a little over $450 a day, it's gonna take you close to 200 days just to pay back that card. That's assuming that everything stays constant, the difficulty doesn't go drastically up or down, and the cost of Ethereum stays about the same. Those can change, of course. If you are confident that the price of Ethereum is going to go up, then maybe you're willing to earn a little bit less temporarily for those long-term gains. But nobody truly knows the future of Ethereum. There are also big concerns about the long-term of GPU mining. And this is due to two reasons. EIP-1559, which is going to cut earnings because the gas fees are going to be burned instead of given to miners. So we're looking at a potentially 40% cut in GPU mining profitability for Ethereum. And then the next big thing is Ethereum is ultimately going to go to proof of stake, which gets rid of GPU mining for Ethereum altogether. So the big concern is what happens after that? Am I gonna be stuck with 24 graphics cards that I have nothing to do with besides play, I don't know, what, what do people play? Fortnite, yeah, am I gonna be able to play Fortnite on like 3000 FPS in 8K? I'm personally more of a Warzone kind of person. Or, you know, maybe I could put those graphics cards for good use, like through uh, deep learning or, I don't know, what would you do with 24 graphics cards? And I think the ultimate solution here is to look at other GPU mined cards. And you can find these through this website, what to mine Right now, Ethereum is pretty much the most profitable. But let's just go in here and say I have 24 3060 Ti's and you can calculate and basically you can scroll down here to see what is the most pro oh, wow I thought Ethereum was the most profitable that's interesting so basically if Ethereum goes away there are alternatives when it comes to GPU mining yes the world seems to be going towards proof of stake however that's not the cryptocurrency consensus mechanism that the entire world believes is best. So I personally believe that proof of work is going to be around for a long time. And that's why I'm comfortable buying these GPUs knowing that Ethereum is going away. Because for one, there's Ethereum Classic. Maybe that'll pick up once Ethereum switches to proof of stake. And there are all these other cryptocurrencies on here. Ravencoin is a really big one. Ethereum Classic. I'm actually planning a video talking about some of these alternative cryptocurrencies. And ultimately, if you're not sure which one to mine, you can always do NiceHash. So that was where this calculator came from. And basically what they do is they'll mine whatever cryptocurrency they feel like mining or whatever is the most profitable. And then they ultimately pay you out in Bitcoin. There's plenty of concerns around nice hash you can research, but plenty of people use it without any problems. The point is there's a lot of options out there and I wouldn't be too concerned personally about using something like nice hash because as long as I'm not keeping all of my cryptocurrency in one wallet, I could have a payout wallet and withdraw from that wallet or I could regularly switch payout wallets, no problem. Overall, I'm really enjoying the Hive OS platform and this is what most people recommend. So I would suggest just checking it out and giving it a shot. You know, even if you don't have 40, 30, 90 GPUs laying around, you can get started with pretty much any graphics card. And there are also CPU mining options as well if you don't even have a graphics card. So that is a bit of an introduction to my jump into Ethereum mining. I thank you everyone who has helped me figure out the details of this. The last thing I wanted to mention before we go is the main reason I'm getting into Ethereum mining is actually to diversify. I don't wanna have all of my eggs in one cryptocurrency basket. 
yeah. So that's why I'm getting into Ethereum and potentially some other networks as well. I could have just bought Ethereum and held, but I'm really personally interested in figuring out the mining process because I have a lot of really cool visions for where I want to bring this channel. So stay tuned. And if you want to get notified of my videos, hit the subscribe and the bell icon. Thank you, everybody. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your day.